everyone this is Heather thank you so much for joining me today I have kind of a last minute gift card holder idea for you if you still need to buy a present for someone for the holidays and uh, you decided to give them a gift card I've made this cute little holder that looks like a polar bear this would also be really nice for anyone that's having just a wintry birthday it wouldn't have to be the holidays but if they have maybe a December or January birthday so I am using um, dies from Mama Elephant. This is the gift box add-on bear dies. There are several different cute critters, uh, but I wanted to make a polar bear for winter, so I am using the bear dies. And then I have got a sheet of white cardstock that I've cut to seven by three. And then with my scoring board, I've just scored it in half at three and a half and just folded it over. And I've also just got some scraps, another scrap of white, a little bit of black, and a little bit of a pale gray. So this is a really great way to use up some of your scraps. So I'm going to start off with the base. I've got my piece of cardstock folded in half, and I am using a lighter weight, a 65-pound weight cardstock, just so that I'm sure that everything will um, cut through because we're going to be cutting through two layers of cardstock. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the die and I'm going to lay it up against the folded edge of my cardstock. So I want to line up the cut edge right over that fold so it will not cut through that corner fold. So I'm going to take a little bit of repositionable tape and I'm going to tape that in place on that fold line and I like to kind of fold it over and it probably will cut through your tape but that's okay so I've just got this piece laid up against the edge so I'm gonna place this piece between my mats and bring my Sizzix Big Shot over and I'm gonna run that through my die cut machine so I like to roll this back and forth through my die cutting machine a couple of times just to make sure that it's cut through both layers of cardstock. I'm going to carefully remove my tape and my die. And now I have that nice fold there on the side. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and cut the rest of my little pieces and parts. So I am taking kind of the muzzle on the white and on the scraps of black, I'm doing the eyes, the top hat, and the mouth. And again, just so they don't slip around, I do like to tape them down with a little bit of repositionable tape. And on the gray, I'm going to do the two little pieces of the inside of his ear and his nose. I'm going to run all these through the die cut machine. So I've run all these through my die cut machine and I'm going to take out all the little parts and if anything gets stuck, especially like the little eyes, you can use like a picker tool or a little ink, a pen or something to pop those shapes out. Now that I've got all those cut out, I'm going to take my scissors and cut just a really thin small strip of the same gray to put behind the top hat because it kind of cuts a little opening for the band. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of that same gray and just take a little piece of scotch tape and just tape that into place in the back of the hat die. So now I'm ready to put all my pieces down and I like using a glue pin for this. You could also use glue dots or a uh, glue stick. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue on the ears and I'm just going to use a little picker tool and just pick that up and place the little ears where they belong. So to do his muzzle, I'm going to pull this circle over and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the mouth. You might get a little bit of glue on your fingers, that's okay. And I decided to put mine kind of low down. That's the really fun thing about this, is that you can move the eyes and the nose and the mouth around and get completely different looks each time you put one of these together. So I've put in a little bit more glue down on the muzzle. I'm gonna place the nose in place. And now on the 
back of the muzzle and the back of the top hat, I'm going to put just a little square of foam tape. And on the top hat, I want to put it just at the bottom because the hat kind of sticks up over the top. So I'm going to peel off the backing paper. I'm going to place his muzzle where I would like it with the foam tape. I'll do the same with the hat. Just kind of put it a little bit of an angle in the upper left hand ear there. And I'm going to put a little bit more glue down and put his eyes in place. And I wanted to give him a little bit of cheeks. So I'm taking a very pale pink chalk and a Q-tip. You could also use like a little eyeshadow applicator. I'm just gonna make some circles there to give him some nice little rosy cheeks and just blow the excess away. And now that I'm happy with the way that his cheeks look, I'm gonna open it up and turn it over. And I'm just using some black memento ink and a little two from stamps. These happen to be from uh, Stampin' Up! Signs of Santa, but you could use any two from that you have or you could just hand write on the back and this way you can write who it's to and from. And now that I've stamped the two from, I wanna seal it closed. So I'm going to take some red liner tape. This is just a double sided tape that is about a fourth of an inch wide. You could use any type of thin strong adhesive and I'm just going to run a piece right along the bottom right hand side of the opening. I'm just going to take my scissors and trim that off. Peel off the backing paper. and just line those two sides up so that they're even and just press down. And now we have our finished gift card holder and it just slides down inside that little pocket. And it's just a cute, fun little way to give someone a gift card this holiday. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel. I have lots of other card tutorials and product reviews for you and I hope you have a wonderful winter. This is Heather, bye.